Hi all and welcome to Magus Crag Gaming. Alright, we've got a little life is futile here. And I am actually starting fresh on my own server. Um, the last server that I was working on, I lost due to a motherboard fail. So, I replaced the motherboard and before I replaced the motherboard, I wiped the computer because I thought it wasn't the motherboard that was the issue I thought it was some kind of virus but it was actually my motherboard I found out later so uh, we get to start over and as you can see I have a little bit of stuff I've gathered up here some rocks and slings and wood and flint and all that <coughs> sling ammo this is the your own version by the way <coughs> pardon me and uh, as you can see right here, I have a fishing pole and an axe that I've made and just my starter clothes. Uh, let's look where we're at here. We are on this side of the mountain, so let's uh, put this map up here. And let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see where we want to start. We are right here, so we could go in here. But we'd be far away from water. But if we go here, right over in here, there's water. A little bit of hilly area, so we might be able to mine. Here's some rocks, so we'll be able to mine there. And we could make our homestead somewhere in here. Probably right in here in this little bit here. So we're going to head south. So we're going to turn around. We're going to turn this way, and we're going to head this way. <coughs> Let's go to system. Now there are some beta versions of this game, three particular beta versions, but I am testing just the versions that are not beta, just the standard version that you get when you download it. Um, but there is some beta versions of this. I think that right there is our clay, so we're going to settle right in there. <coughs> We're going to settle right in there because that's a little low-lying area. <coughs> Ooh, looky there, a deer. I think that's a deer. It looks like a deer. We could get some meat right off the bat. We don't have a sling, though. We have an axe, but uh, I think we'll pass on trying to kill that. I think that's a deer. It looks like a deer. It's a deer. Now, normally I'd want to go kill that, but uh, for the fact of the matter is that I'm too unprepared to kill it, and it would take me a long time to kill it, so I'm not going to try and kill it. Um, <coughs> we'll work at that later. <coughs> Alright, now where do we want to settle is the question. Maybe, let's hit F3, so we can kind of gauge what we got here see where we're at and this is the clay pit area right there's the clay pit area so we want to settle a little ways away from this so I'm thinking maybe we work down in that area and flatten it out <coughs> there's not a lot of flat ground around here um, I'm not sure if it's flatter when we go inward this is more mountain region um, hmm. We're going to have a lot of work terraforming in this area. What is that? Is that a wolf or a bear? What is that? Do you see it? Oh, it's a it's a buck deer. Ah, it's a buck deer. Looks like an elk, but it's a buck deer. There, we got a doe and a buck in this area. That's pretty cool two animals off the bat but I did put my animals up to I think a uh, hundred so we can see a lot of animals which could potentially bite me in the butt because I could see a lot of wolves okay we're gonna make a shovel we need a shovel <coughs> craft just one all right oh my crafting is pretty slow that's okay 
All right, now we're gonna go O. No, we need P and I. So we're gonna put this shovel right here. We will need a hammer. So we're gonna make a hammer. We got that. So we need some stone. So we're gonna close that. We're gonna get right here. Look for materials. you know what I do not want my intellect increasing uh, let's put that down so that can go down because I have everything set to 3000 um, in terms of skills so I don't need intellect we'll pick up some of this we'll grab everything we can <coughs> that's gonna help us Alright, I think we solved the problem that I was having when I was trying to get this game working. I had to reinstall a driver for my video card. Fresh install. And I have had no problems with it for uh, about 17 minutes now. Uh, so that's not too bad. We've only been playing right here for 6 because I was testing things out seeing if it would load. And it did load. <coughs> so, <coughs> everything is working. Which means you may see some No Man's Sky. I did purchase that game, but I was having the same issue with that game. So now that I'm not having an issue with this particular game, and we're going to keep playing for a while to see if that does pop its ugly head up again. But if it doesn't, it means everything we did, update the windows and update the drivers did the trick and that would be fantastic if that's all I had to do which we do have enough material now so let's make our primitive hammer we're gonna craft produce one and is there we might want a sickle and a primitive knife um, we will need both so I'm gonna create both <coughs> The saw I'll wait for for later. Same thing with the pickaxe. Alright, we'll produce that. Oh, the window still glitches on occasion, huh? That's okay. Just gotta reopen it and try it again. <coughs> they still haven't fixed that. That's pretty interesting. I think they'd fix that by now. That's been an old issue for a long time, but it's easily fixable, which is probably why they've never messed with it. Alright, let's start down here a little bit. I think we'll start maybe real close to the beach. Um, we don't want to be too close to the beach. Let's start here. We're going to make everything six. And we're going to start from that 5, 6. No. I think we'll start from that 6 corner and go 6 this way and everywhere, every which way we can. And then we'll build out as we need to. So we're going to go to shovel, lower ground. We're going to right click that. Then we're going to escape that. Bring that back up. <clears throat> now when we left click, that will be our default for making it go uh, lower. <coughs> Ooh, a little uh, laggy there. Oh, I hate this new messages. I don't need that. I don't need all that. I know how to play this game. <coughs> oh, this is going to take a long time because I have everything at default. But that's okay. That means we'll get into work and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, actually work hard to get where we're at. <coughs> So we're going to go four strong from here, meaning I'll go four up and make them all six. This will give us a lot of dirt to pile around where we need to, too. Let's look at our inventory. Okay, we've got two qualities of dirt right now. And we started with um, 20 
um, willpower, so we can carry quite a bit. Um, I should have showed you my character creation, but I didn't. But I can show you my stats, which are right there. And I do have um, things set up so um, I can gain skills quite quickly. I think I have it set at 501. Oh, I'm packed. Okay. Oh, I did that too much. Okay, now we're going to come down here. We have a lot of dirt, so we're going to spread it out a little bit right here. Let's see, not there. We're going to go right here. So we're going to right click this shovel, raise, right click, then we'll left click. <clears throat> now if I do this particularly like this, I gain a lot of skill in artisan and all that, but it also makes it already plowed when you add the dirt to the ground like that. Alright, that's at 6. Now let's get this added to 6. We should have enough to do this. I don't know what quality the dirt is. I wasn't checking. I'm not particularly in too much of a care for if it isn't six. Um, so let's go here. Let's see if we can get this to six. And that's got to go down. So we're going to shovel this lower. And we're going to lower that. And what we're doing right now is preparing a plot for our um, for our tiny shack. Because that's what we're going to have to start out with. That's what we're first going to want to build so we have a respawn point. So we don't respawn somewhere randomly away from where we're at. We have to run back if we happen to die. Alright. And so far, so good. Now, I could actually do these up. I think I will. That way I only have to go from this corner to this corner. There's that deer. Isn't it beautiful? And then we'll go across to there. So we'll have this section right here, which will be on the edge, which will be all right. So that's what I'm going to do. I might need uh, quite a bit. Um, actually, I could show you guys a trick, too, to raising the dirt but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'll just explain it. What you do is you go to your inventory and you select the particular dirt pile and you split it into 15s. And if you drop that on a particular tile, it will actually make it go up as if you put 30 on it. <coughs> and uh, you can then uh, get a little more stretch with your dirt. But... Um, it doesn't gain you as much skill, so I prefer doing it this way. But when I do find areas where I need more dirt and I want to utilize more dirt in a larger area, like when I'm making a field and there's just, you need that extra dirt, it's good to split it. Especially if you find something like a high quality dirt that you want to split on a particular tile for farming or something. So now we're going to raise this. We're only going to play this about maybe an hour, I think. Alright, that's at six. Alright, we're out of soil. Now this back plot right here once we lower this I think we'll have enough soil to get that the well this is I don't know I guess you could say the front is towards the beach and this is towards the back so we'll say that so once I take from the back here and I go towards the front toward the beach um, we'll have enough dirt surely to get where we want to be especially with this being so high at 6.5 or higher in some cases and 
I will eventually have to get something to eat as you can see my my uh, stamina is going down um, but I'm already that's that'll be simple that'll be simple with what I have right now I'm near water I have a fishing pole I can fish cook uh, fish up and uh, just do very well easily I'll have to cut down a tree or two to get some uh, uh, what are they called oh, I forget what they're called billets billets once I get the billets I can actually uh, make a fire campfire with some sticks I, mean, I can get sticks from any of the trees around here or I can actually search for materials and find sticks but I'd rather get them from a tree it's much easier and you have to have sticks enough sticks um, for your fish and for your uh, campfire we want to lower I think I'll make this a uh, newbie friendly video kind of go through everything refresh everybody uh, that wants a refresher and let the new people get the information they need to um, I believe this game is actually it might be on sale because it's near Christmas I'm not sure about that I'd have to check but uh, I believe it's only $20 right now this game and uh, there's one other game I play quite a bit of that's similar to it um, they're very fun games I've been told they're gems old gems and uh, I, c I agree with that they are very good old games alright guys we are getting the ending stage of having an area plotted out for our property so well, at least a shack, a tiny shack. And once we get that tiny shack built, we're probably going to build a bed and then maybe get some food. And that might be pretty close to being time to get off. Alright, so I think we're going to be right about where we need to be in terms of how much dirt we need. We're going to see here in a minute. We may have some extra dirt other than this last corner plot, which will be okay. If we don't, we don't, but I think we will have some extra dirt, which we'll use to extend out at that 5.1 and 5.4. We'll extend out a little bit. Alright, we've got our plot almost done now. We're going to take this and right click, lower. Now you can always make your own private server and customize the ticks on uh, certain uh, actions and skill ratios and make them go quicker or slower depending on what you want to do but uh, I like to leave things pretty much default other than maybe animals and like your skills. I like to have max skills so I can do everything on my own. Um, yeah that's uh, what I like to do. We're going to raise this up and maybe that corner piece there. We might extend out quite a bit this way maybe. We'll see. Maybe make a field for uh, sowing crops. And that's it. That's all the dirt. Look at that thing. Is he uh, getting ready to challenge me? I hope not. All right, we're going to right click this and we're going to go to flat and ground. We're going to right click that and then left click. And now we're going to get this all flat. And then we'll prepare with our hammer what we want to build. I don't think that the deer are an air grow creature, so I don't think he will attack me. Now this will probably go to 6.1 because I think I will get some rock and pave it. Um, it's going to take a little bit of a trip to do so, but uh, I think I'd rather do that and make sure there's no grass under my hut and make it really clean so I don't have to really uh, do anything special when uh, 
I decide that I want to uh, keep it or if I do want to get rid of it I can deconstruct it and then build another building on top of it already that is and have it be paved so I'm gonna need 30 stone per tile and there is 12 tiles I want to say yeah 12 tiles so um, no uh, there's 16 tiles I want to say I think is that right 8 and 8 16 yeah 16 tiles so 16 times 3 and then add a 0 and that's what I need I apologize for the cat. She is in heat. Alright, now one more and we've got what we need to build our home. Alright, now we need some rock. Which means we're going to need a pickaxe. So let's make a pickaxe if we can and we can make two so let's mass produce and make two of those because we will use quite a bit of those and I'm gonna wanna dig particularly in rock to get rock so that deer's close too look how close it is normally they run away huh that's interesting The other one took off over there and laid down right over there. And as you can see, we can see our plot pretty good. Alright, let's see here. This is going to be a little bit of a jog. And we're going to be walking quite slow once we get loaded. It's going to be kind of painstaking, but it'll be worth it. Ooh, a little lag there. And here's some rock. So we can cut right into that. So, let's see here. Do we want to dig a tunnel? Yeah, let's dig forward. Or should we dig down? Let's dig forward. Oh, first, it might be a uh, little uh, need to equip our pickaxe. Okay, now we're going to dig down no forward we're gonna right click that and get this going now this digging skill will, will gather up rocks and uh, while we gather up oh wow it's only eight rocks <clears throat> that's harsh used to be like 30 rocks <coughs> I remember making videos I remember that now yeah they changed it so this is gonna be really painstaking but our digging might go up quite quickly. I don't know. We'll see. I think once we get our digging skill to 30, we can prospect for copper. And at digging level 60, we can prospect for um, iron, I believe. Let's see how much we have. 48. We're going to pack up. We're going to get as much as we can hold and then jog over. Actually, maybe it would behoove us not to go overburden so we could run faster and make the trips quicker and do more trips here. Let's F3 that again. Maybe do 90. I think we might be able to do more than 90 actually maybe 120 so we'll go to 120 our uh, we should be able to run back and forth quite quickly then instead of getting maxed out carrying like two or three hundred and really going really slow although we could get a lot done when we make the one trip 
this will make our 120 and we're right on the section we want to be so we can still run full tilt so I think we'll do that because it'll make the travel quicker in between points and we won't have to and once we can we have our home built we can actually recall home when we're fully overburdened and uh, we can uh, carry more of stuff back all right now we're gonna get right on this corner we're gonna go we should have let's check real quick let's get off this let's close this let's go to not O but P okay we need inventory let's get our hammer get our hammer put on all right now we're gonna close that we're gonna go create no not create what do we want to do uh, build stone road and I think we will have to flatten this after we build I'm not sure because it will uh, upset the flatness of this area yes it did okay now we're gonna go on this one should be able to do four tiles so it'll take us four trips is that right one two three four yep four trips and this will get our construction up which is going to be good for building but we'll wait until we get everything done now let's jog over and let's uh, eat that food we've got this is the first food we start with I'm gonna eat that and get our food meter up or our hunger meter up 88 so we should be able to finish what we're doing before we need to get some more uh, food We'll see how long it we it'll take us before we actually need to get some more food real quick. But we're real close to the water and getting food won't take long. Alright, let's right click this. Still on dig forward because it remembered the tile. And we've got the pickaxe still equipped, so we'll do this. And I think we're going to take my strength up to about 25 and stop it there because we want to have most of our skills in agility and willpower, uh, particularly agility and willpower because we're going to be like a bow character particularly. But 25 will give us a good point where we can do some of the malicious type stuff, I think, uh, maybe even some more stuff I don't know for sure but we'll see we can be a mixture but we're gonna focus mainly on the archery to be a hunter because uh, I like to be a hunter and a blacksmith and a builder although strength does play a, a, a role in smithing I'll only be able to smith certain things but that's okay I just want to be mainly a hunter type character and if I need to make another character and uh, do different um, statistics I can do so this is my server. I can do what I want. Alright, let's see where we're at. Uh, 72. Let's move that over there so we can see. 80. So we're getting there. Wouldn't it be crazy if I struck iron here? I think at level 30 I can mine iron, so if I did particularly strike iron once I dug this first tunnel, that would be crazy. I, w I would have to mine it all out, mine every bit of it, focus on mining after I got my HUD up, and just pile it somewhere so I had it all mined. Ooh, let's skip that. Okay, let's look here. Alright, that's rock. This is rock too. Let's inspect this and see the quality. 
it's eight quality rock so it's perfect it's what we need so let's see what we've got we have exactly 120 so it took us 240 to dig that tunnel 240 rock so that's good that's not a, a whole terrible lot we have to dig for a tunnel this will get us another section done who knows maybe we can kill these deer eventually uh, if they stick around long enough and we can actually have some excess meat maybe and maybe a couple of furs we could definitely use the furs let's f3 this now we're gonna check here build stone rolled is still default so we'll f3 again so we can see the tile when you're actually building you have to be square with the tiles um, otherwise you're not gonna build on it um, if I was at an angle trying to build on this tile it would not do it and I'll show you with this one see it won't do it you have to be straight you have to be square facing halfway done and I don't know how much more this hammer will work <coughs> Ooh, we don't want to do that is that why did that do that is that rock that's interesting why did it change I've never had that well We'll just do that. Escape will cancel a uh, particular action as well if you need to do that. Now, halfway done. Time to jog over and get some more uh, rock or stone, whatever you want to call it. And you can see our tunnel is a little more. Uh, easier to see now because we've actually tunneled into the earth eventually that will cave um, you can actually reinforce tunnels and have mines open long periods of time like 10 and 11 days of playtime so here I'll inspect this and it'll tell me how long before it'll cave two days so that's a very small easy to cave in type deal thing we're gonna go ahead and just mine right here we're going to dig forward into this rock and it's not letting us do it so what's the deal am I hitting the wrong thing I think I was on the wrong thing you got to be facing on the wall that should work yep that worked alright digging is too low for prerequisite skill, so my digging's not very high. Let's look. Is it here? It's probably here. So, what is this? That's digging. Okay, so my digging can't go up until my artisan goes up. So my artisan has to go up before my digging can go up again, which is not cool. I want my artisan to go up, so I'm going to have to work on getting my artisan to 60 or 61, I think it is, for my digging to go up. Uh, there are prerequisite skills for stuff, so obviously this is kind of like just doing it to do it so I can have the material um, I wish my artisan was a lot higher because if it was I could actually get some more skill from doing all of this but I'm not going to because the prerequisite prerequisite skill is too low but I can still gather the material so we're gonna finish up getting the house built the getting the house built should get our artisan up a little bit we might actually have to do a little more preparation of the land to get my artisan up a little more but we do need this house built so we have a 
a location where we can respawn. Let's see what we're at. 96. I think three more. No, two more. Alright, this will give us our 120. That deer, those deer are still hanging around. I think one of these days I'm going to upgrade my graphic card once I get the money. Maybe do a 6 gig gigabyte graphic card and uh, it's probably going to have to be a used one unless I can find something brand new that's old. Um, and uh, get uh, the graphics on this a little bumped up and see uh, how well it looks in uh, more fine tuned graphics. I have seen this machine on a newer machine at the cafe down across the street from me, but uh, it uh, doesn't display all the menus, so I don't know if there's something wrong with the graphics on that particular computer or what, but it doesn't display everything like it should. The menus um, don't pop up. and. It's just, it's not good. You, It's hard to play unless you know where everything is. And even if you do, it's a still kind of difficult. So I was happy to get my computer all up and running. Alright guys. One more trip and we'll be able to get our house going. It's just going to be a tiny shack, and we are near clay, so we should have everything we need to get that shack built. And this next digging might, whoa, what's that? Do you hear that? It sounded like something was running. Um, th digging this tunnel here, I don't know if this will go, if this will fall through or not, because it's a little more deep. It's a little more thicker in types of height and depth than the, the particular rock tunnel I dug on the first time. So, I don't know how well this will, will, uh, hold up if it'll hold up longer or the same amount it might be longer it might hold up longer before the tunnel is actually dug Well, we're on going on 38 minutes here. Oh, my pickaxe is gone. So, it's a good thing I made two of them. So, this is my used pickaxe. We're going to leave that right there. We're going to put this in here. So, we we have just enough material to make what we needed to get what we needed. So, that's good. I could drop that pickaxe if I need to, but uh I probably will eventually. We're on 80. This will go to 88. 96. We're almost there. I think three or four and more. This will be 104. And then we'll have two more strikes. And then we'll have our 120. Our strength is really going up and so is our constitution. I think we'll stop our constitution around 30. 25 might be okay, but 30 would really give us some hit points. That extra boost. 
Not that we really need it if we're going to be an archer, but it can come in handy if anything gets close on us and we are doing something like some militia type deal stuff or even some swordman type stuff. I will mix it up with this character, but uh, his main focus is going to be archery. So he can be a hunter gatherer. And this is shaping up nice. Alright, so stone road, we're going to build that. My shovel may break by the time I get this done. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully it'll last a little longer. quite understand why they made the deer look more like a sort of like a, a elk or something sort of maybe not quite an elk but it sort of looks like one but it's actually a deer now we're gonna right click this go to shovel and flatten ground with the right click and we'll get these all flattened all right and then we'll have a paved section And as you can see, all of the grass is gone. All of the flowers are gone. That's the purpose of having the pave. It looks a lot cleaner. Unless you want grass coming through the floor of your hut. sure which way I want my door facing I think I want it facing the beach As soon as I um, start combat with one of those in melee, it'll start running. Or, as you can see, I got a little too close and it decided to run. So, yeah, see, it's running. Alright, now, we're going to get right about here. Right click, build, simple construction. We're going to go to resident, tiny shack, boards, billets, and plant fiber. As you can see, this takes much more. This takes mortar and much more. Now this one, instead of boards, it takes clay. Now I could make that one. Um, let's see, what's the tiny shack look like? To the, the plaster shack has the more like uh, stony look to it. Let's just do the wooden one with the billets. Let's make, make that one. All right, now let's rotate this. We want, let's have it like that maybe? No, we want it, let's have it like that, I think. So we gotta just get it straight. Now we gotta figure out which way this is gonna go. Okay, so we need to go to the left. And now it is right where it needs to be, and we will start to build that.
construction, yes, okay. Oh, I don't need to know about all this stuff, you guys. Okay, now I have an axe, but I'm going to need a saw to make billets and all that stuff. So we're going to get over here real quick. We're going to get right here. We're going to search, look for materials. We need lots of flint. We need like nine flint or something like that to make one saw. And we might need two saws to finish this. I'm not sure. We'll see. Depends on the quality and whatnot we build saw-wise. All right, we will need plant fiber. We'll take that. And lots of flint. Sticks I'm not gonna gather up. And I'm very glad it's still daylight because it is a pain in the butt without a torch to find this stuff. Oop, we don't wanna do that. We wanna be on the flint stone. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, I think that's flint. Nope, we don't want that. And there's some flint over here and some more uh, plant fiber. We're going to need 20 plant fiber. We're going to pick up all this sling ammo because this is an archer type character. So the sling, sling ammo will come in handy. And I think we've gotten everything we can in this area. Maybe not. There's some more flint. There's some sticks, but we're not going to pick those up because those will be really low quality. Actually... We will pick those up for a campfire. We need five of those for a campfire. So let's keep scouring this earth. Just looking. Alright. Alright, there's some sticks right here. And here's some more flint. We'll pick that up. We'll pick up the branch. And there's some more flint down here by the toward the beach a little bit. I can see it in the grass. And there's some more fiber. So we're getting a lot of good stuff here because we can see. And some more flint. So we should have almost enough for everything, I think. Let's check. We're going to go to saw. And we have 14, and it is 7. Okay, so we can create two of these if we need them. We're only going to create one and see how everything goes. Alright, now we're going to go P and I. We're going to put this down. We're going to put the saw on. We're going to keep the shovel on. And that should be all we need. And this is old school. There's no sorting of these materials like on... Um, the new MMO, or the MMO, I should say. They never introduced that mechanism into this particular game, which I wish they would have. It's a very nice feature, the sorting of all the material. All right, there we go. We got it sorted. We just combined everything, so we have averages, which is fine. Everything's all right averages are good and now we're gonna go look for some trees here maybe an oak tree that'll give us a lot of wood and we got two oak trees right here we're gonna ins no we got three oak trees or more let's inspect the quality of these we don't want to cut anything down that's too high quality quality eight perfect all right so we're gonna cut this down but first we're gonna gather some branches from it and I'm only gathering one right now because I forgot to click it. So we're going to right click this. We're going to go to gather. We're going to come to this one and do infinite. And then it will grab all the branches we can off of that. And we'll need these to cook fish. So we want these. And this also gives us nature's lore, which is good. Our nature's lore is 45. It's going on 46 now, so that's good. You want to hide nature's lore if you're going to be a hunter-gatherer. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and cut that down. 
It'll probably take us two or three cuts to do it. Now this is a hardwood. Hardwoods, you can use the billets to make charcoal, which is good for burning. All right. All right, there we go. Now we're going to uproot this. This will give us a billet. And we want the billet. The billet we can put into our tiny shack. Now let's inspect this. This looks like it's going to be a good tree. 89 quality. 28 branches. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. We're going to let that sit there. We're going to lift this object. And now it's time to carry it down to our hut. Now picking up particular items like this, lifting them uh, gives you movement increase and willpower increase. And willpower increase lets you carry more load on your character. The more willpower, the more everything you can have equipped and carrying and weight and all that. Oh look, some branches. All right, we're gonna square up. We're gonna do this. We're gonna step to the left. You can see that's red. Z down will raise it if you move your mouse down. And then you can place it. All right, let's pick up these sticks. Or branches, whatever you want to call them. All right, let's square up with this. We're going to cut. Let's see, I think I need boards out of this. So let's look at build simple construction. We need five boards, 15 billets. So let's inspect this. It was mature, so it's going to be a lot. Actually, it's only 120. So we should be able to get all our boards out of this. So we're going to saw boards. We're going to put it on max or infinite. And we're going to saw these. And once we get this hut built, I, I might stay on a little more than an hour so I can get some fishing done. Uh, but once we get this hut, hut built, that's going to be the longevity of this uh, video. still on two boards it looks like let's see here we got two boards so we need a little bit more to get them I don't know if it's 40 per board it's got to be 20 and it's 10 per billet so we should be able to get our five boards out of this we only need five boards so we're gonna stop at five And this will be what you want to do to start off in your game. Is you'll want to get a shack built. And you'll want to get some food. And I suggest being near water to get food right away. Because you can actually fish quite easily. This will be the last board. And then we're going to get billets if there's more. Which there should be. Okay, we're going to do this. Right click and saw billets. And we're going to max that out. So we can get two billets out of this. Ooh, our strength is almost 30. Uh, let's keep our constitution right there. Uh, strength, we're gonna we're gonna keep that. We'll go, we'll go to 30 with strength. We'll go to 30 with strength. We'll supplement some of the constitution. Instead of going to 30 constitution, we'll go to 30 strength. That way we can use a little more heavy duty stuff. All right, now we're gonna come here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna hit I for inventory. 
Now if you want, you can add these singularly and use up your hammer more and get more skill, but I'm going to add them all in at once and do one one hammer. If you want to get your carpentry up real fast though, while building one building, do singular objects into the window at a time and it'll do one at a time and it'll go up each time you build. I can actually show you when I get where is that other tree? I think this other one right here is going to be a, a oak that's built good enough to cut down where I don't have to worry about it being too high quality. Six. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll cut this down. It's a medium oak, so I'll probably only get like 120 out of it again. But it might be enough for the billets I need. Might be a little under what I need for billets, but that'll be okay. Alright. We're going to uproot this. And as you can see, my artisan is now 63, so soon... <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get a drink of water so soon my um, digging skill will be able to go up we're gonna lift this you always want to lift these and carry them over uh, sometimes it might be more beneficial to saw it right where you're at and then carry it over faster but I always do this to get my movement up because the higher your movement is the better off you are so you're gonna want to do the painstaking painstaking objective of lifting them and carrying them over it'll be more beneficial in the long term <clears throat> all right a three this so we can see step to the side so we can see better tab no we don't want tab <coughs> I am going to have to take a short break here and get a drink, guys. Yes, CC, I hear you. All right, now we're going to saw this into billets. And we only need about 12 billets. I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've been making videos, I just haven't been posting them. I've been kind of preoccupied with work and friends and stuff, so I do apologize. And getting this computer up, upgraded, so. I've been doing a few streams, but I don't know how well the quality was due to the fact that my other computer or backup computer is a very older computer. Check how many billets we have. Five. I'm looking forward to seeing how this area will turn out once I get it going and get like kilns and forging ambles up and furnaces and all that kind of stuff and start showing you guys all the different stuff I've showed you before on some videos. Maybe you're in going to see this and it's going to be new to you and you're going to want to get the game. I don't know. Um, I do enjoy this game very much though. I do have the MMO version as well but I don't play it as much as I played this one due to the fact that uh, the MMO version is a little more uh, cap intensive with your skills so you actually have to play with a group and that does deter me a little bit. 
due to my play style and my time constraints. This I can come to whenever I want or whenever I can. Let's look at what we're at. We're at 10, so we need two more. Let's see what quality these are. Six, and this is an eight. That's a 25. So that, so that particular spot where I uprooted this tree was 25 quality soil. That's how you can determine that. All right, we're gonna cancel right there. We're gonna come over here. We want to be a little bit squared up with this. And you can see you can deconstruct. We're gonna throw that in. Then we're gonna throw those in. And then we're gonna add that. Carpentry is now 30 almost, which is great. Construction is 30, so that's not bad. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna put in this. We only need 20 and our house will be built. And the first thing you want to do once you build your house is tie to it or make it a set home. All right, it's built. Now you walk in it. And let's get this off here, this backspace thing. Right click. <clears throat> right click and claim as your home. Once you claim that, if you die, you will appear in your house. So now... I don't have to worry about starting anywhere else. I can keep being here all the time. Let's examine this. <coughs> We're going to want to build some crates. Okay, so I can get one billet out of this. So we're going to actually saw a billet out of that. We're going to get that billet. Yeah, I don't need that. You can, it's telling you that if you press this icon right here or hit 8 on your keypad, it will make you pray home all right now the next thing we want to do is fish but first we've got one billet we've got these sticks very low quality so every day new sticks appear on trees so it's getting dark so before it gets dark I'm gonna grab all these 89 sticks off here uh, 89 quality, but it will only give me the quality of my skill level. So I think they'll be around 40 ish, but we'll get some that'll help me make better quality food All right good that's going up my strength is going up as well Now when strength gets to 30 I'm gonna cap it out or stop it and let it focus on the other skills like willpower agility and stuff let's look at that by the way okay willpower and agility I want to go up strength is gonna be capped uh, intelligence we want that to go as low as possible so it went up a couple because I forgot to cap it at the start but that's okay As you can see, my hunger is starting to get low, so it's perfect time to get some food. So I had just enough food from start to find a place and get uh, get my stuff built up, get my home built. Now I can get food, and I'm gonna get quite a bit of branches. How many do I have? Let's see here. What quality are these? Fifty ones, fifties. 49 so those are gonna be good for making tools fish whatever this will be good for campfire making a campfire okay that says we're at 29 so once it hits 30 we're gonna cap it because this is always behind a little bit it ticks as it goes but it's always behind
Okay, I think we got it all. Unless we were... Let's inspect that real quick and see if we got them all. It has two more branches and 30 bark. We don't need the bark. I don't like wasting time with the bark. I'd rather cut down a tree and make a... Um... A, uh... What do you call it? A, um... A crate. A crate. Although, bark boxes do come in handy. Okay, now we're going to come down here. And as you can see, it's getting foggy and stuff. <coughs> Alright, now we have a lot of branches. Uh, you know what? Before it gets too foggy, we're going to cut down one more tree and probably a really light spruce or pine. Just something we can get some billets off of. So we're going to check and it doesn't have to be really high quality or really high growth. This aspen will work. Let's inspect this, see what quality is. That's perfect. Okay, let's see here. Now, uh, what was I going to look at? My strength. Okay, my strength is okay. Let's cut this down. <coughs> now, this will be an instance where you don't have to move it if you don't want to. I don't know if this was a mature tree or not. It's a medium aspen, so it shouldn't be too old. That's falling towards me. We're going to uproot this. You can get injured by trees falling on you, so you, it just kind of depends on how they fall and where you're at sometimes. Now, this is a softwood. Let's inspect this, see how much it is. 40. So we're going to just saw it right here and just get the billets. It'll be perfect for what we need. We're going to have five softwood billets to fuel our campfire. And they should do just the trick. So once we get this sawed, we're going to go fish and build a campfire. And then you guys get to see what a campfire looks like. Let's look at that uh, strength. Now it's getting really close to 30. This should be the last billet. <coughs> oh, Aspen is uh, the lowest hardwood, I think. It says it's a hardwood billet, so I was wrong. Pine is the lowest softwood. Alright, that is cut. And we're a little burdened. Let's see, we're over a little bit, but that's okay. <coughs> we'll jog down here slow enough, as you can see. And I think I'm going to build the campfire right on the beach. that campfire built up to get these billets out of the way let's check right here we're gonna build it right here so we're gonna go to create and we'll go camp campfire as you can see it takes five branches we'll do build <coughs> now campfires decay quite quick quickly so I never use high quality products on them Unless it's something that I only have high quality of. So I'm going to use these branches to build that. We're going to get that built. Alright. Now we're going to open it up. Add some fuel. We're going to add all this fuel. It can only have five billets. And now you can see my burden is lower. We're going to let that sit. And we're going to go fish. And we're going to get down here and fish. So we need P and I open. We're going to take off the saw. And put on the fishing pole. Now I could have just switched out the fishing pole. And done that in one loop instead of taking that off and putting that on. But that's okay. Now we're going to F3 this. And it does t do a tile thing. We're going to do max fish and just fish until we're full. <laughs> Th 
This will get your hunting skill up quite quickly too, and agility and strength. Speaking of that, our strength is now at 30. Oh, is it at 30 particularly? I want to wait till it is 30. It is 30 now. We're going to lock that. Now all we have to do is worry about willpower and agility. Agility we want to be 35 and the rest in willpower so we can carry a lot when we go hunting and gathering and when we uh, tame animals and such. I could even probably go 30 but 35 is my for my agility would be my more preferable. Ooh, I got a salmon, a 26er. Ooh, so we're getting our, our hunting skills getting up there pretty good. And our agility is going up. Ooh, we got two trout, some cod, salmon, and herring. They did change the fishing aspect of the game for the MMO. Um, I'm not sure I like it. Um, I don't know. It's different. I mean, it works, but it's different. Like, you catch the minnows, and the, the dishes are simplistic. You can't cook many different types of fish. You just cook a lot of one type of fish, really. Um, I think there's, like, maybe two types total. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played, but... I like the old school vibe of the, the the standalone your own version where you get the salmon because salmon can give you ten dishes of food and cod give you eight and uh, I think uh, trout give you one and herring give you one but I mean I like this this is easier to gather food for yourself and stay afloat they're making it harder to survive on that game without groups even though some people's I mean it it's hard enough as it is to survive without without groups I don't think you really can but you I mean you can a little bit I've seen people do it but uh, they're making it harder and harder because they're trying to encourage people to be in groups and I think that's deterring people from playing a little bit because they don't want to be in groups some people like to be solo Alright, that's good enough. We've got plenty of food, so let's find our campfire. And we should have enough branches, so we're going to uh, uh, add fuel. Light. Escape. Now we're going to prepare food. Oh, no. We're going to do prepare food, but we're going to do max. Now to start with, we're going to do the herring. We're going to do three of those, mass produce, that will get our skill up for cooking, and we'll save the salmon for last, that way we make higher quality dishes with the salmon. Nature's lore goes up, so we should make pretty decent dishes since our nature's lore is pretty decent. Then we can eat some food. And we'll be full again. Next, we're going to do the trout. Three of those. We've got four of those. And then we can eat and rest. And it will have been about an hour and, well, I don't know, 20 minutes almost. It's an hour 15 right now, but by the time we're done, it might be closer to hour and 20. But that's building a house, getting some food, and go, getting all going, going for your start. A little bit of uh, information on digging and how to tunnel and mine. Um, yeah. 
Now we're going to do the salmon, and we've got three of those. And we still have quite a bit of branches to make more food if we need to, or another campfire if we need to. Alright, all done up with that. Now we're going to go to add fuel. And we're going to extinguish. And you can see we only burnt one. But we're going to go to inventory and we're going to pull those all out. Because if that campfire disappears, the fuel will disappear. And we don't want to lose that fuel. Now, we're going to get in here and sort this stuff. What quality is this? 45 and this is 9? Let's mix it. Who cares? It's not a big deal. It's just a billet. And as you can see, we have lots of food here. Got some metal sticks. These are high quality sticks. Uh, we're going to put that right there. I'll put that right there. Let's get this over here. This is junk, so we will put that somewhere else. And we'll just get these all right here. We've got those. Um, 35 qualities, 40 qualities. As you can see, the sticks really help. The sticks do help get the quality up a little bit. We're going to put these up here, I think. You kind of have to organize your own inventory in the your own version, which is a little bit painstaking sometimes. Yes, I know I'm hungry, people. All right, now we're going to look for the lowest quality here, which is this 31. We're going to eat that. <coughs> Put us up to 40. Let's look at these. Uh, this is a 29 food value of 20. We'll eat that. And we're going to move that down there. This is a 40. And that's a 27. We'll eat that. Move that down there. That should put us pretty close to where we want to be. Uh, 26. We only need 20 food value. So we're going to hold off. Oh, no. We can eat one of these. That's only 21 point. We'll eat one of those. And that should max out our food. Now, we're going to close that. And we're going to hit 9. Which will sit us down. And we're going to regain our hard stamina. Which is the second number on the yellow stamina bar. <clears throat> our hard stamina is how much stamina we can exert ourselves overall before we can't do anything. When our hard stamina hits zero and our stamina hits zero, we can't do anything. <clears throat> so you want to rest every once in a while to get your hard stamina back up. Got our little hut. Got our campfire fishing hole and we're we got our mine over there and clay we're doing good next thing I think I'll do is work on crops it's August so soon it's gonna be winter I can survive off fish for now but I'm gonna want crops for getting cattle uh, horses and all that kind of stuff sheep uh, rams uh, pigs boars, all those different things, rabbits, chickens, I mean it's all in here. <clears throat> Alright, hard stamina is almost up. Once our hard stamina is up, we're going to eat a little more food and then we're going to call it good at about 1 hour and 20 minutes, people. So uh, I'd like to say thank you for uh, watching this video if you see it. And like, subscribe, and comment uh, what you think about this game. If you uh, have a question about the game, uh, anything like that. Any sort of thing you want to comment about the game or the gameplay, all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's stand up here. Get in our inventory. We're going to eat a 30 quality food here. We'll eat this one. And that should get us pretty close. 
we'll put those down there and we've got plenty of food and materials and thank you for watching like I said like subscribe and comment below that's how to build a house get a campfire going and uh, get started with some food I didn't get my bedroll made yet <laughs> thank you have a good day or night or afternoon